What's up, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Michael B, and I'm here with your host, Crimbus B. <laughs> and uh, Michael B, what are we taking here? The Green Flippy Land. What does that one do again? Look at the top seven cards. Cool, but eh. I don't think it's the first pick. <clears throat> we could go on and on Koth. Oh, we could take Bizarre, but you hate Reanimator and Bizarre because you hate Bizarre. We could take Scrubland as a safe pick. I would take Citadel or Scrubland or Servant. I'd go with Scrubland. Mr. Bossman, what up? Glad you can catch a stream. You take what? Scrubland or Citadel. I can see an argument for many other cards, though. It's coming. Maybe the Flipland's good enough, though. I don't know. I heard it again. Whatever that is. Oh, there... What? Oh, boy. Boy, this is a pack, all right. The best Planeswalker and a Mox. Oof. <sighs> My hair is getting real long here. Well, I'll... Yeah, we're taking Mox. Oko's yeah. fantastic, but it's a Mox. It's actually close, which is... Amazing. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. In fact, kind of me. I'd probably just take Trophy or Yorion because they're powerful. Tetra is kind of good with the Mox because you can untap it. What? I have a Scrubland and a Mox. You want to take a double blue Tezzeret? I'm just saying there's a thing you can do with it. Well, I would take Trophy. For but you hate Trophy. Overpowered vintage cube combos like you, untapping you your You take mocks. Birthing Pot early and build around it. You know what they say, Michael. Fuck out of here is what they say. <laughs> Treachery seems real good, but it's literally a third color that we're not in the... Yeah, but like we don't, we can ignore the scrubland, and we just have a mox, and an off color mox is fine, and even then we just do blue green, so it's not even off color. I have no idea. What Nailed it. Right now. I think I would take treachery or devoted druid, or signet. But tre treachery, real. Green. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't. I can't think of a reason why I'd play Demir signet over devoted druid ramps for sure. <clears throat> Where do they go? Pew pew. They got one of those zip zaps, you know. Then the signet's better. But then at the same time, they get a leg of braid, so whatever. Yeah, rewarded. Mox Emerald into Tree Speaker into Druid into Primeval Titan. I think we got a little bit of theme here. I like, I'll take Fraley's, sure. If I'm cutting off these green cards, I'm okay with it. Oh, Nissa? Shit. That's real good, All actually. All right. Hey, oh, look, Nissa? Nissa. Or right. a Bayou. I don't, what do I care about a Bayou? Do you want to take a Bayou and splash black cards you don't have? Or do I take a good card that's going to go right in our deck? Is it good, my time, baby, my good time, baby? <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, man? Wasn't a real argument. I love that flip, Nissa. That's like my favorite. Wow, and this comes back. Oof. Nice. Phenomenal. <clears throat> Kerwood says, I want nuggets. Oh, McDonald's actually let their employees off? That's surprising. <laughs> really pod. You know what? What the hell? Just take all the green cards. I mean, we got a one or two or three. We don't have a four or five, but, you know. The Give future. it time. Okay, Matt, we're listening. What's the thing? Are you trying to argue for Signet? Do we think Freilies is better than Vivian Reed? No, I think Reed's better. No, I like Vivian Reed better than Freilies. They both have the same negative two ability, but Vivian Reed's plus one is significantly better, better, and I yeah. don't actually mm -hmm. know why they brought back Freilies. Mm -hmm. Do they take out Vivian? I don't know. I can't imagine you have both in the cube. They, they fulfill the very, very similar roles. Sword is a nice pickup. Ooh, I'm gonna go check something. I, 
I might know what that beeping is. I'm probably lighting the house on fire right now. Oh, Night of Autumn? Sure. In case we can splash that guy. Thoughts about the leaked Warren Clex, both mechanic. I have not seen the leaked Warren Clex. So as you can imagine, I have no thoughts on it. Michael was wrong. Oh, big surprise. <laughs> what a stupid. Oh. Eh. We have a scrubland. We could take Maelstrom Pulse. Gusty Yavamaya Elder. Michael, have you seen this Vorinclex? No. Do you want to? Yeah. Well, it costs six minutes. That's an improvement right away. I don't think it's gonna work it never works it's always super dark yep fucking cool i love how hard it is to just literally save a fucking image from a browser you could just snip it to show it not the best quality but anyway i'll just take maelstrom pulse oh findhorn elves oh grim monolith though yeah we're taking grim monolith for sure like, we already have 5.56, five, and uh, these are pretty ubiquitous. Like, we can probably find more. I tap for one mana when you can tap for three mana. Vorinclex, Monstrous Ra Raider. Six mana for a 6.6. Six. Praetor. This is interesting. Trample Haste. Phyrexia being referenced in Kaldheim is super interesting. Um, probably going to go Zenith. Guild. Oh. Really? I can search for your early guys and search for your late guys. I don't know. Goose is good, though. I just want to make sure I have enough wonders. Triple Haste, if you would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, put twice that many of each of those kind of counters on that permanent or player. Okay. So it's like a branching paths or whatever that card is. The, yeah. If an opponent would put one or more counters on each permanent player, they put half that many instead. Rounded mm. down. That's too bad. Why? It sucks. Oh. Well. Verdant Catacombs gets Scrubland. It also gets us just basic Swamp from Maelstrom Pulse. Yeah, we can definitely Splash Pulse. So it kind of makes it easy to play, like... Plus, if you pick him any other duels, it could be relevant. Oh, yeah. I love. I actually love Elder Gargaroth. I think it's super strong, and I think it really needs an answer. Uh, I do not think they will be bringing back <coughs> Phyrexian Mana now. No, I think they've... They clearly said that was a mistake. Just like everything that's free is a mistake. Every time. 100% of the time. Yep, but they're going to keep on doing it. I was hoping for a Signia Green Commander. But all I got was a stupid counter boy. Trample in haste, though. Don't be wrong, there's definitely a Commander deck where it could be great, but... I don't think it's a good centerpiece. A.K.A. Commander. I don't know what you're saying right now. Oh. Relentless. Yeah, sure. These are all easy picks because they're just basically the green cards in the pack, so. Yeah. Do you see the legendary squirrel? Yeah, that squirrel is a banger. I mean, I don't know about for standard and stuff, but for commander, that card slaps. I don't know why they need to keep giving green. Card draw, but what is Cradle? Wow! Ooh, okay. Baby. Well, we're definitely in the right colors here. Yeah, Elder came back. It was like the only green card in that pack. Sure. I would have considered Nykthos there, but... Well, that's why you'd be wrong. Eh. Elder's kind of poop. I mean, when we're trying to splash with a white and a black card, putting... Oh, that's a good point. One of each land in the deck is... How's Rick today? Anyone call in? Yeah, there was steady call flows. Mostly. The Finhorn Elves nice. came back. It's actually insane. It was mostly pretty slow, though. Like, I'd say I got to call every three to five minutes, and then it, like, died after 11. It was just completely dead. I think I took two calls after 11. So, for two hours, it basically just did whatever I wanted. <coughs> just 
splash that too, potentially. I could splash anything, Michael. So if opponent does plus one on their planeswalker, does the Warmcast just say the walker loses gets no loyalty? Um Don't know. I mean, yeah, right? Like why wouldn't it? Yeah, it doesn't say round down or anything or round up. It literally says round down. Oh. Then yes, that would be how that works. If you put one more counters on a permanent or player, so if, if you put a, pl a one counter on a planeswalker, you put half that many round down. down. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Uh, wall of Roots is... <laughs> so every green card we wanted has come back. Our manager told us to log it at 2 which awesome. Oh, you got an extra hour off. Well, Jimmy the Gym Boy did it again. Jimmy the Gym Boy... Hmm. Prime speaker. Cool. More like sideboard. Hey man, speaker. we can search for maze. Makes it a little better. Nah, it's still not worth it. But how are we searching for maze? Prime time. Oh, God. Just getting lands because that card's. Stupid. I'm taking Avenger of Zendikar. Yeah, we knew. That basically makes an effect like normal damage. Well, for your opponent, but for you, it makes it double. You're looking for trouble. Make it double. I like Sage. Sylvan Carry. Okay, well. How many times have we regretted not taking it? I have Night of Autumn. Oh. And Sylvan Carry out actually lets us cast yeah. the Night of Autumn. okay. All right. Okay. Plus, it'll probably just table anyway, so we'll just have two of them. That was also what I was thinking. Plus, we also have Fraley's to destroy artifacts and enchantments. Because, uh... The Maybe more answers to artifacts and enchantments, the better, because it's everything in this format. It is everything. What, did it, or what, it, what, is it, what did it cost you, Michael? Everything. Yeah, I'm taking this guy. We already have three one drops, and this guy's probably coming yeah. back anyway. Also, a lot of people don't realize, like, one on tap with that guy, if you plus him, and then your opponent might just be dead. It's pretty nuts that he just goes off right away. Joke's on you, Kurt, this is a screwdriver, not a hammer. <coughs> oh, they did add the agent. Yeah, just take Harmonize. Yeah, solid. As a rock. Solid as a rock. Everything is a hammer. Yeah, if you swing it hard enough. It's just like the fact that you can cook a chicken if you slap it enough times. Wow. You heard about that, right? Yes. I mean, Elder, well, Elder's probably better than Signet, right? Elder is significant better than Signet. Library? library? Oh, boy. That's a goodie. Yeah, that's not easy. Sucks to pass Savannah, but... Hmm. Don't know if we... Well, we could take Dynamo. No, I'm just taking Problem Command. Well, this pack is not great. This is our first whiff. Sure, I'll take a gravy tea. Oh, I don't hate a Vraska. Solid as bull rock. I think we can just play this. 16 lands plus a bunch of dorks. Accelerant. They took out Hallbreacher? I didn't know that. No, they added Hallbreacher, did they not? Did they take it out? Did they make an emergency like removal? Oh, we've pulled Hallbreacher from the cube and replaced it with Thada Adele. We are aware of its issue, but we also think this will be more fun experience. Is Apparently like, there was a bug. There was a bug. It's like precious deed. Yeah, the difference between Hall Breacher being one less mana than um uh 
the blue black guy that does that is significant. Plus, making mana might be better than drawing the extra cards. Notion thief, yeah. And as I mean, one mana is a lot different. So you're saying it's not a bug, it was just an auto-lose? Well, yeah, because your opponent plays a draw seven, they discard their hand, and you get seven treasures. Right, but the Leovold also did that. Like, Narset also did that. So, like, because it... So, Hallbreacher is only one blue, and it's flash, and it's only three mana. Uh-huh. Like, at least um, the other cards, like, they don't have flash or anything. So, like, if you want to do it in the same turn, you need, like, six mana. I mean, but they clearly say in the Magic Online post on twitter they say we are aware of its issue so oh wow acidic slime came back oh man so much love i think you cut elder it's poo poo i think you could also cut knight because i don't think we need that many answers knight knight of autumn and um yeah I'm at elder. you wanted me to take rex stage and now i'm cutting knight of autumn well we picked up an acidic slime it's we five have five mana yeah, we also have uh, Vraska. We have. Uh, I mean, I'd rather cut Vraska Pulse. than Night of Autumn. Okay. Yeah, Magic Online tweeted yesterday, the the twenty third, at eleven a.m. No less. Hey all, today we've pulled Hallbreacher from the cube and replaced it with Thada Adele. We are aware of its issue, but we also think this will be a more fun experience. Anyone say what the bug was? I don't... Well, if Thought Adele had an issue, I don't think they would have put it in the cube. Like, they're not going to just put it in the cube if it has an issue, so... We definitely play that, yeah. <coughs> Got him. Trastodon, maybe? I could see cutting Trastodon. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, that seems good. I like it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll cut Hullbreacher for my for my cube as well then. Thank you. Mr. Tasty, thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I think the problem is oh, like that's actually Let's burden cat. Oh, that seems and yeah, also scrub land. Oh, and also guys, cradle. Jesus. Oops. I think another issue is like EOT Hall Breacher, untap wheel for three. Make a bunch of treasures and you still get to play like an insane turn, so it's almost like a free draw seven. And your opponents lose all their hand. It's real good. I don't know what just like they never put Genesis Hydro in a queue or never put Desecration. I don't know what those mean. I also played a commander game where someone wheeled in response to Hellbreacher. In response? Yeah. Seems fine, right? What's wrong with that? No, I mean, it was sick. Some played Hellbreacher and they wheeled in response. I mean, wheels of sorcery. No, so someone played a wheel. It wasn't. It wasn't wheel of fortune. It was like a, it was one of the wheels. I don't. Really, it, one of those effects. And oh. I responded with a hull breacher. So everyone. Okay, just, so you didn't. They didn't play wheel in response to hull breacher. You no, played hull breacher yeah. in response to wheel. Okay, that's a completely opposite situation. My deck actually plays no wheels, so it's just only to punish people that play too many wheels. <laughs> and that guy played like eight, in that game. Until I played hull breacher. Well, one day. I 
I personally don't remember Genesis Hydra and Desecration being being bugged, bugged but I, I mean, I, I could be mistaken, but also, like, I don't remember them putting them in after they knew they were bugged. Like, hey, we know this card is bugged, let's put it in the cube anyway, because they literally mm. took out Mystic Confluence because it was bugged, and they replaced it with Commits Memory, so, I mean, I don't know, having a bugged card in the cube is different than putting a bugged card in the cube after you know it's bugged. One of those seems like a thing that happens, and the other does not... It's, no, I don't know. I don't remember. I, I actually don't remember a Genesis Hydra or a Desecration even bug, but I mean, there's tons of cards that have had little weird interactions. Oh, that is interesting. I didn't realize that I'll Reacher worked that way. How did you think it worked? Well, so someone pointed out Reacher stops the opponent from drawing any extra cards. Yeah, unless it's, unless it's your draw step, you don't get yeah, to draw a card. That's actually more brutal you gotta stop touching the mic I know but they're more sensitive so every time you touch it it's loud oh and that would have been a great hand if we didn't have to mulligan it yeah Solid as a rock. <laughs> sure. You got it. Let's draw let's draw a two drop anyway. That'd be great. I would really show them. Breacher is like a three mana counter spell that like instead of like just countering the spell, you also get a three two and they get to discard cards. Which is significantly and you worse. Get treasures. Oh wow. Oof. Suck on that, you egg sucker. <laughs> they are an egg sucker. Oh, they're just... Oh, they're going to reanimate something? Yeah. Yeah. Been something stupid reanimate incoming. I'll discard my Gristle Bristle. Oh, just a Sacred Foundry. That is... Okay. That is stupid. Maybe they were animated, but they whiffed. They had no targets in hand. Well, you know what they say. Go on. You know, don't be like this. Okay, well, you know what time it is. <laughs> Slime them and rhyme them. See you later. Fun question. If Breacher didn't restrict the card draw but still have treasures, would it still be play a lot? Oh, God. Oh, God. I actually forgot it gave you treasures. I literally just thought it was like, you can't draw. No, you get treasures, but it gets you. Oh, my God. That card is insane. Yeah, when that dude wheeled and I breached in response, everyone discarded their hand but me. I drew seven, and I made 21 treasures. Treasures. I made 21 treasures. Believe it or not, I untapped and won the game. Turns out. They probably still see play. Yeah. I think they're storming and they're just not doing well right now. <clears throat> it's okay. I'm sure we'll be just slow enough. Oh wait, no, never mind. Oh, that's brutal. Get your double mana, kill it. See you later. See you later is right. See you later, alligator. Man, this would let you get any land. Oh man, well not any land, but like another basic.
Mm. If Breacher to make treasure, it's still definitely see playing commander. That's but... it. You just commit to memory Malan. Oh wow, and we get to just Baraska here. One, two, three, four, five. I really don't want to kill a land because we have a Frailies coming up. And the Nissa flip. You can kill your Druid. That's what I was thinking. I have so many drinks that I don't want to. <coughs> Got him. Yeah, here it comes. Here what comes. Everybody knows what time it is. I I, what time is it? It's reanimation time. I don't think they're a reanimator deck with Harpy to Spring. Oh. And yeah. Gitaxium Probe. Well, Probe could definitely be a reanimator yeah. deck, but. Probe is that free real estate, you know? You can put that thing in anything. They have one card in hand. Oh, they're just going to... This is really fascinating because now we get to kill the Baral and play Fraley's. <coughs> I don't understand. Happy Christmas, y'all. Oh, Dan's with 119 bits. I love you, buddy. I appreciate you. Okay. I think we got this one. We're one land shy of doing both, so. Oh, we're just gonna. <laughs> All right. I can feel him hovering over his rascal. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's happening. I feel like our opponent tried to force too many colors. Are they getting punished for it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, come on, dude. Um, I'm just going to submit. I don't know. Yeah, there's Storm. I mean. Storming like a rock. How many tickets is the cube? Oh. Uh, what? You probably know how many tickets to enter. 10, 10 play. Ten, 100 play points or 10 tickets. Keep. Can you pay with McDonald's gift cards? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> nice. What a dumb thing to ask. <laughs> oh, yeah. Soul Ring. Let's see if they kill it. Oh, we yeah. didn't see any removal from this thing whatsoever, so. This thing? <laughs> I'm in third deck. I don't know why I said this thing. <laughs> this piece of trash. <laughs> Sir Nicholas, please do not kill. <laughs> do Nicholas! Not kill. Nicholas. Good times, man. God, I really don't like Coke in a bottle. Like, it just tastes so... Do you prefer, the, like, the two liter? No, I like pouring it out so it can breathe and the carbonation can... You could ask me to pour it out for you, man. Hey, Michael, pour this out for pour me. Pour it out for your homie. Give me... Give then me, I'll put it on the floor. <laughs> give me a glass, Jeeves. No, we're in the kitchen. I almost touched the mic again, but I stopped myself. Kurt asked, should I order you a Coke decanter? <laughs> I mean, probably, right? Like. <clears throat> oh my god, what's happening? 116 bits. Dan, this is like the most random number of bits. I'm going to do 119. Now I'm going to do 116. So this dude's coming up next turn, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, hope we don't. <coughs> Are you doing okay, man? No. It's that light cough. Okay. This is how Michael B. died. Are you going to storm off right before your Lotus Bloom goes off? 
Oh, they changed their mind. They're like, whoa, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, they mm. did it again. Yeah, I'm no professional storm player, but this seems, yeah, unless you got something real crazy here. Three cards. Oh, my <laughs> God. Are they still not realize it's suspended? Okay, it's going to graveyard. You got it. Do they forget they have this or what? I don't know. I, don't I have know no idea on. what's going on. Oh, you just commit to memory my draw a tree speaker? They have two cards? Why would you waste a pedal on putting one dork back? I don't know, man. That's wild. Especially like when I get to... And like someone playing this, like on MTGO, in Vintage Cube. Alexa, stop. Like, you gotta know what you're doing, right? This is not a beginner format. I'm just going to replay it and, and, and upgrade it. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I'm not going to draw cards here because I, if they're going to tendrils me out, I really don't want to max up my other chances. So. Yeah, plus most of our cards don't interact with them anyway, so. They also have no blue sources, so they use the blue for Lotus Bloom. Or they can get the blue from Lotus, Lotus Broom, I guess. Lotus Broom. Okay. You have to get rid of another card. <laughs> so your one card has to be like... In the Earth? Even if your last card is... Yog, like, there's no, I mean, I guess you can maybe go off, but, it, or I guess they could also have the red enchantment. Okay. They added that. Okay. Go All right. They have one card. All right. Is it going to be just mind's desire for three? Oh my God. It is memory. All right. Okay. I mean, we have six mana. And we can, like, Maelstrom Pulse this. They already drew their Lotus Bloom. Oh, don't Fatal Push. Do not push. Cool. Wow. Nice draw. I feel like they just pulse their mocks. Well, I'm probably going to Knight of Ottoman instead. Oh, sure. That is better. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Can you pay for one? No, I'm not going to pay for one when they're playing Tendrils. I don't. I just don't need the cards. I have infinite action in my hand. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana next turn. We can play Nissa. Untap a land. We'd have four mana. That doesn't really do much. Could untap Scrub Land and then still Maelstrom pull something. I mean, now it's five cards to five cards, but they have four lands. We have four lands, a library, a knight, and a wall of roots, so. You got it. I guess you get Pulse. You ain't never had a Michael B. Guy's Cradle. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have one mana untapped. Four mana total. I think we're just going to play Slime here. Because next time we can play Nyssa and play like Elder Gargaroth, which is probably better. <sighs> yep, sure. I feel like they have too many do nothing cards in their deck. They only have two cards left in their hand, which is like. It's just not enough, you know? Right. And they seem to be missing like the key fast draw spells and stuff. Nah, she's asleep. I 
Katie would not be working at 1130 now. She gets off at like five or six. All right. Let's see if you got it. Starting with the chart. Boom. Three cards in hand. Oh, okay. So she'll ever for a card. You got it. Three mana demonic tutor is <coughs> It's okay. It's a card, I guess. Okay. I do not see... Yep, storm counts five. And you have one card, so it's going to be like six. Oh, God, what is happening? Okay. There you go. Do you got tendrils in the graveyard? Oh, you just masterminds acquisition for it. Yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, they have just enough. Mastermind's nine, Tendles is ten. Didn't need that, but whatever. Ah, <sighs> storm. Gotta love that mechanic. We don't have a crater hoof, which is unfortunate. <coughs> we can play sword to try to increase our that's what I was clock. Trying to, that's but, what I was kind of thinking, actually. But the only problem is, like, milling them is actually could be bad. But it might not be, it might not matter enough, I don't know. need to draw land but otherwise it's pretty strong wow i'm gonna keep it we're on the play you know what gamble no gamble no future and if you do find land on tap and you get a monolith or whatever it's pretty good you got it <laughs> look at my no land hand feast your eyes with my no land hand Yeah, we could have brought in command, but eh. yeah, but they have a decent draw. It's yeah, it's pretty useless. Come on, one time. Wow, every game they've had Lotus Bloom. Card's real good when you get it every time. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it's not good. round one for you I think we have a maybe a chance if we draw a land this turn and they don't kill our thing <laughs> yep sweet I mean I guess they have some stupid removal as well Special cheese plate. Nice.
<laughs> you got it. <sighs> Stormage is unfun because it's like I just have to watch you Play right, like if you don't, hope you don't if you're it. not playing counter spells, you literally have no interaction, and you just have to hope they don't get there before you kill them. So unless you have a super aggressive draw or counter spells, you just have to hope. Right, yeah, they're gonna tutor for a graveyard recursion. They're gonna pass the turn. We're gonna untap, do nothing basically, and they're gonna win. Oh, did they just not do anything? No, Wild. they just tutored. They're just going to do it all next turn. Sounds good. Should probably pulse their Lotus. God, I was really looking for a way to use... Uh... Well, they're tapped out, actually, so... You might as well. I mean, are we just in the game still? I don't understand. Gaunty, huh? That's... Not sure why they're playing that in their deck, but whatever. <coughs> One, two, three, five, six. There's a lot of mana. Gary. Shooting Gardner. Like we're also at nineteen minutes and they're at ten minutes, so it's like it like this is another problem with Storm. Like you just if you don't know what you're doing, we're just sitting here wasting Yeah, if you're not an efficient storm player, they like tank for like ever. Sure. So you have one mana. So I doubt you're going to go off this turn, right? Cause... Yeah, they probably just fill their hand and pass. Mm. Or keep drawing. Wow. 
This is wild. They played a land for the turn, right? Did they not? This actually feels risky because, like, if we if we did have a crit oof and somehow cast it next turn, they actually would just die. But they're not going to be able to go over this turn, so, like, why not just wait? Or maybe they have a freaking Lotus in their deck and they're just going to kill us. I don't know, but... They do have a Lotus. No, I'm in a black. It's right here. Oh. I mean, they haven't played a land this turn either, apparently, so... Yeah, they just went Seething Song, Yawgmoth's Bargain, and start activating. So I guess we just have to sit here and wait for them to either win or not win. Very fun. I'm really glad you cut this from your cube. Yeah, this is why I literally don't have it in my cube, because I think it's... Uh, I, I, the, the cube is supposed to be a fun, interactive experience for multiple people. Like, you're, you're getting together, you're playing really good strategic games of Magic, and, like, this is literally so one-sided that... It's just, it's the one thing that I dislike about cube season. <laughs> it's like, well, do you have a counterspell? No. Okay, you lose. I mean, counterspells don't even really stop Storm that frequently. Well, no, if you counter the rights. Like, so in that other game, if you had, like, I don't know, Force of Will, you counter their Mastermind Dark in the graveyard, ritual. they lose. But, yeah. So, wait, they're just tendrils for sixing? Yeah, because they're just going to gain some life, draw some more cards, untap, and kill us the next turn. Okay. They probably drew into Graveyard Recursion, so they just pass. Or maybe they've got enough rituals to do again, I don't know. <laughs> Fucking Gilded Goose? Like, so random, dude. Gilded Goose in your... That seems really inconsistent, but whatever. Doesn't matter if you always, if you always get it. What percentage of storm games are good games of magic? Ten percent? That seems high. <laughs> I just don't know what what what's the quality that makes a storm game a good game. Like when they don't have it and you get to like fizzle their their turn. Like that's like the quality for me, you know. The only way to beat them is like countering the right spells at the right time, being too fast. Or blowing up their lands or something weird like that. And those are not like... Not every deck can do those things. Yep. So even an aggressive deck can have slower draws. And then you're just dead. Right. It's just like it's never fun to play against Storm. <laughs> the only person it might be fun for is a Storm player. And even then that's just like them not being... Them being socially awkward, not realizing like cube's supposed to be fun. It's not a competitive format. I mean, it, you're trying to win, but you get what I mean. Man, I would I would actually kill for a primal command here, <laughs> but it feels the same as like when someone goes to a random game shop and brings a CDH deck and everyone just playing like fun commander and they cross the table like <laughs> I won guys and it's just like cool good for you man well I guess you have fun with your one game we're not playing and they just never invite that dude back right dude it's like the, I can't remember his name but I'm not well I don't, shouldn't mention it anyway because that's mean but a uh, certain player from short stops Nate Cater yep <laughs> Oh, God. like the one time I played with him he, he sat down and played Edric I'm like okay it's a cool elf deck you draw some cards whatever but it was just like infinite take turns and draw a bunch of cards and infinite counter spells and I was like cool the only other game I played against him he was playing the uh, the blue black ninjas deck but like a super competitive hyper build of it so he just like killed the whole table on turn three again and I was just like okay man see you later can we alright we're gonna play again but you don't how about that oh boy like it's one of those things like it's okay to play those decks but not in a random pod where people are just playing for fun so it is 11 48 our match started at about half an hour ago about 28 minutes ago yep let me guess yogmoss will you know it's, it's also weird because like that's a dude like doesn't understand whoa it's yogmoss <laughs> will whoa <laughs> Hey, look, he did the thing I said where he was going to almost kill us and then untap and kill us. Wow. Yeah. Look, he had the exact card I thought he had under Shell.Kyle. 
Yep. No, the first game's not good either. If you're if you have a a level ten deck and you sit down a random pod, you're an asshole. Like you do not do that without talking to the like when if you have yeah. a deck that powerful. I think there's social. You have to be like, hey guys, my deck is a really strong competitive deck that's trying to win on turns one to five or whatever, or earlier. Well, you don't sit down with that deck. Yep, they have taken about 13 more minutes than we have this match. Cool. You know what? I don't care. It's worth. It's not worth my time. You should have just conceded when he played. Congratulations, Sir Nicholas. The first game. <laughs> you won your storm game with your Gilded Goose, Gaunty. The deck wasn't even good either. It's just because his, his random storm came together. Like That was not a good storm deck. He was playing too many colors. He was playing like Gilded Goose in his four-color deck with what seemed to be very little green sources. Like... He had very little green sources, you see. Yes. My name is Michael B. <coughs> Michael B. Like, if you sit down and you're playing Timna and Thrasios, and your opponent's playing a mono white commander deck, like, you know what's going to happen. Okay, Doc, good night, guys. <laughs> That's my favorite command good night. prompt. Thank you. Oh, Big Lou, you piece of shit. Thank you so much for the gifted <laughs> yeah, sub, my the, dude. It's the piece of shit guy. <laughs> yeah, Big Lou's great. He's like, I'm just here to hear you call Michael B a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm like, well, uh, you know what? Mm, hopefully the library will get us there. Actually, get rid of this elder. You ain't doing anybody any favors, you little, you old ass a dirt burger. <laughs> Come on, Mox Diamond. Mox Diamond. I know we had that card. Yeah, shut up. You know what I am. You know what I Wow, two decks. Gataxian probing me, huh? Okay. You got it. That's another Storm deck. <laughs> I'd die. Also, uh, it's pretty weird that they paid two life when they had an island. Yeah, they always do they love doing that. But it's free, but like, but why take two? Your Q welcome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Big Lou. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for the support. Michael's hair looked ridiculous earlier. It looks pretty ridiculous now. No. Okay, they got a one. You think it's a... They're not going to put this into play tapped if they got days, right? That's what they want you to think. It's kind of like a swan song. Which this would play around. <sighs> what was that they did? Maybe they do have a swan song and they're like, oh, they're going to counter this. And then they're like, wait a minute. Well, a swan song, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure, is not in the cube. So, Oh, interesting. That is, that's interesting? I thought it was. Swan song? Yeah. Ron Swan song? Yeah. I think it was Force Spike. They definitely want to play Force Spike. Uh, is this real? I will pay two. Do you have another? Oh, okay. they oh they tried to spell pierce this. Yeah. So first turn you try to spell pierce it, it, you realize it's not a creature or it's not a spell. And then second turn you spell pierce, then I just pay for like it. Like it's not even good because it's not like in a late game turn where it's like, oh, if he pays two, we won't be able to do anything else. It's like we weren't gonna do anything else, man, buddy. You don't even. I paid here. Oh, I I don't know if I paid eight. No, that's because you're a little bitch. Excuse me. All right, let's pass it up. Pass it up. The only thing we've seen them do is pay two life for a Gataxian probe when they had a mana up, and no, try to another, counter another a tapper and untapper guy. Sylvan carry added with a spell pierce and then proceed to what the f what is going on? Maybe they're also on storm. Just like a more dirtily controlly version. Mm. Where are my lands at again? Play Nissa. She'll make you more lands. Two, four, five, six. I mean, I have a counter spells in the problem. What are you gonna do? Maybe play slime instead. I 
I'm going for it. Actually, we want to tap all our creatures for that. One, two, three, four, five. Nasuza. Yeah, they're definitely <coughs> countering this. Wow, they did it. Would you like to pay the? No, I can't. <sighs> Thanks for asking, though. Why, who even cares about this? I have literally Sylvan Library in play. I just don't like it. Oh my god, who cares? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. I'm like, dang it, what? I forgot he untapped. Dang it, Bobby, what? Dang it, Bobby, what? Dang it, Bobby, what? Dang it, dang it, Bobby, what? Dang it, Bobby, what? Dang it, dang it, Bobby, what? Ooh, tough choice. Hmm. Haven't seen a ton. I think I'm more scared of red cards than black cards. Red cards kill our bros. So do black so cards. Black cards. cards. <laughs> Michael, you ever seen a black removal spell before? That ain't one, but it does get our brasky. Whatever. One, two, three. I'm just gonna play Night of Autumn and gain four. It's like drawing a card. Looks like we made it. It's so soulful, buddy. It's true. Okay, what else we got here? Two more lands? Basically? <laughs> yeah, but if you kept the mox, you'd be like, ha, look at my cool card. Yeah. What did you just say to me? I said, ha, look at my cool card. My cool card? Yeah. Ooh, super aggro. They ain't blocking. We're blocking It'd be weird if they didn't block there, but. Oh, they took it all? Oh, wait. Never mind. They blocked. I mean, it's a 1 2 versus a 1 2, so. Yeah, it'd be weird if they didn't do that. But now they have to attack because we're going to ultimate. Ultra! Like Macho Man Randy Savage, you know what I mean? You know, remember when he ultimated? Remember that, Michael? Macho Man Randy Savage? Do you remember when he ultimated? No. Okay. You will. Wait. What? What? If you don't remember something, you can't just will it into remembrance. What the f- this is, These have been what? weird matches, man. I mean, they were dead if they attack, right? I guess. They're nine. I feel like we're really missing a crater hoof here. Yeah, it's like the one- I also feel like we're getting flooded a bit for, for 14 lands and a Mox Emerald. I also feel like the decks with Crater Hoof are so much better than decks without. <laughs> it's Yeah, because you finish the game in one turn rather than being like, alright, I'll kill you slowly. Crater Hoof is like the best Herf. green finisher. It's my time. Crater Hoof. <laughs> card is nuts. Some people pay money to get Cataxian Pro, but you got it twice in one day. What a time to be alive. Yeah, buddy. It's a truly a Christmas miracle. I think this is okay. That's right. Just don't play Cradle first. 
That would be amazing if I did that. Look, we got four, five, six, seven. Oh, sorry, I hit the thing. I bet that was kind of loud. I'm so sorry about your dainty ears. Oof, even better. Papa Bless. Well, she's going to be dead, but, you know, you got to risk it for a LaBiscuit. I mean, the goose would be dead, too. I guess it's got one more tough. They call me old Jimmy LaBiscuit. Really? Oh, it's a, it's a sorcery. That makes sense. Jimmy LaBiscuit. <laughs> Esquire. Hope they don't have another removal spell. That's going to be real awkward. Yeah, we'll just draw land in the Sylvan Library. Everything will be okay. You just got to save the salami for your mom. <laughs> Mail it to her on Christmas morning, you know? So it gets there in the new year. Wow, they're really just going to town on my on my things. Oh, we got there. Hope they don't have a spell pierce, I guess. Oh! Oh. 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 But. Oh, oh God. What is this? Four what mana. Fencer? Oh, oh, that's dangerous. Oh, we draw something to kill it. I don't like it. that. Oh, boy. None of those things kill it. Oh, boy. I need an adult. Stat. Serpentine wood. <laughs> Y'all got that serpentine wood? <laughs> Who is he talking to? I really hope they just have like stupid progenitus or something. If it's an annihilator, bro, then I'm probably rip. I'm probably rip AF. It's going to be Emrakul. It's always Emrakul. Hopefully it's the 13-13 win. I'm very good at winning my first round handle, my first game handle here. Here we, we go. fucking go. Oh my god, it's got a dilator 17. Oh, good. One, <clears throat> two. They're all gone. We're dead. Two, Fall three, over. four. Four is too many. If it was two, maybe. If it was like... His scion, we'd be all right. One, two, three, four. We have the second library. We can't really sack the creature. One, two. <laughs> Keep counting, man, but we're dead. <laughs> There's no way. If we don't have to have a library, like, if we don't block, we can't use the library. We know we're drawing Garrick Relentless. Yeah, I think we're dead. Shut the fuck up. One, two, Might as well get rid of Cradle if we're getting rid of the guy. Cradle just gets so much better with this and this. You think we're going to live that long? Yeah. Okay. I do. <clears throat> you draw one extra card. That's cool. I ain't dead yet. Because if we draw land, they have no gas. Then we drew land. Pulses? No, oh, we can't cast it. They're on black now. Man, we're so close to to playing just questing beast. Oh, questing beast. <clears throat> Don't let, won't let nobody hatch. Oh, wow. Did you just top deck Ulamog again? Ashen Rider. Sounds good. Don't know why you didn't do that last turn unless you just top decked it, but what do I know? Nothing. Correct. Don't let nobody hurt you. It's a little toasty in here. It's because the heat is on, because it's cold in the house, because it's winter, Michael. No, I understand why. I'm just saying it is hot in here. No, I understand. And we can go goose tree. Can we open the window a little more? That would be ideal. All right, hold on. Turn the camera on. We got to put 
just gonna like reach in up here and what are they gonna do? What is this? They get ignored while you, you do it a different way. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Okay, good talk. <laughs> This guy. Say my name, don't respond. Don't say my name, respond every time. Technology. Technology. Well, they mulligan the six, so theoretically they can't really win here. You know, reading a Basri Ket. Yeah. <clears throat> Sakurai Tri Builder. Sakurai? Zach Zachary? Zachary? Zachary the is that Zachary the Tri Builder? Sasuke Tri Builder. Yeah, you have seven cards. Dummy. What did you say to me? They can't even use a little library. Oh, they can mana leak this? I totally forgot that was a thing they could do. That is unfortunate. <clears throat> and we can turn Timber Symbiosis next turn, I guess. Assuming they don't have a Spell Pierce as well. Yeah, let's, let's just beast them. <coughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we can play this safely. I want to start making food because I feel like if we start making food, uh, it gives us a lot better annihilator protection. But you didn't make a food. Well, correct, because they neither have sneak attack nor a second red activated, so we're not really in very much danger of them sneak attacking us. So, what if they play? Yeah, let's hear it. Mountain seething song. You know, it's I guess it's a risk I just have to take. Yeah. yeah. Think about that one, did you, buddy? I didn't. Well, we have five cards and open blue mana. So I guess we probably just bump them. Yeah, let's bump them. Get busy bumping them. Would you like to hard counter this with your hard counter spell? You're gonna we're gonna we're gonna spell Pierce again. What about your soft cover spell? Well, your soft hands and your soft cutters. <laughs> <laughs> I like a girl with a soft hand and a soft counterspell. Bam. <laughs> they left the blue up instead of the library when they have seven cards. That's fascinating. Oh, they just, we just win the match. Good, good games. But they were not good games. What to my wandering eyes should appear? What to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny Michael P's with reindeer <laughs> noses? Oh boy. Nice. Those quality picks. Oh. Oh. Why are these matches taking so long? It's not like it's Christmas Eve at midnight. Oh, do you think all the players are waiting up for Santa? No, then he won't give you anything. Is that too loud? Yeah. You gotta be a lot quieter, they're a lot more sensitive. How loud was that, guys? Eh. 
Eh. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, I a guess. little far from the mic. It was like over here. It yeah, but like it more... has nothing to do with the mic. It has to do with the vibrations that travel up the arm into the mic. Whoa, science rules. <laughs> <laughs> Robots are so cool. Science rules. Oh my god! I really just wanna. <clears throat> I really just wanna have this cue fire so I can jump in the next one. The next one. What if right at midnight on Christmas Eve you get to do a vintage Supreme draft and play in the Cube League? Well, for me, it's already twelve ten, so you know, robots are cool. What gender is Gear Hulk? Well, I assume it, because it's a robot, it does not have one. Yeah, I think robots are cool. <laughs> I think robots are cool. <laughs> I forgot the context Michael of that. B. There's nothing to do with what we're talking about. I just wanted to know that you Hey, know man, let me tell you cool. something. <laughs> Robots are cool. <laughs> it's fantastic. I remember why I said that now, because it was like, trying to say they didn't have a gender, but. Oh, yeah, all right. Papa Bliss. Thank Term you. Terminal Library. I'm in. Is that better than Terminal Finhorn Elves, though? No. No, it isn't. What up, Neil P. Stars? Merry holiday. And I, too, think robots are cool. Thanks for the content, my dude. Yeah, I'll just put one of these back. Yeah, remember that bee attacked my eye? Michael had a zit on his fucking <laughs> upper eye, and he kept picking at it like 40 times today. So now it looks like a bee stung him in his eye. I didn't actually pick at it. I squeezed the shit out of it. That's still... You're still kind of picky. Wow, this is... The number of islands we've seen is unprecedented. We should probably ban all islands. No idea what you said. Literally, actually, no idea what you said. Said they should ban all islands in my meme voice. That didn't sound very mean. I said meme voice, dude. <laughs> See? That's the voice. <laughs> I guess that is the voice. You're right. Man, I got four mana in a Sylvan Library, and we're going to play this next turn. I hope they go, like, land signet. And then I'm oh. just going to go... <laughs> land monolith. And then I just get to kill. Yeah, I don't care what two man artifact it is. I just preferred Signet because it would die. And like Gr Grim Monolith lets them play like a Basalt Monolith off that. No, they're just going to play and pass. Play and pass? Yeah. Right on, bro. Oh, another blue, risky. another blue red deck, huh? Okay. No, oh, dang it. It's a storm deck. Well, see you later. Nobody plays that card with storm. Oof. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can kill her, bro. Which is cool. I'm just wondering if I take four here. I think I do. Uh. Mono G. Oh, my fucking God. Sure, dude. Of course I can't hit a fifth land in order to play around days and of course they fucking have days sounds good oh i got, yep. I got a wish claw tallyman come mr tallyman turns out a demonic tutor if you tap and give your opponent doesn't matter because they just never get another turn when you use it hmm. you're telling me some fascinating things right now yeah Your stupid ass demonic tutor out of here. I wish they never printed Talisman. Really? Is it that bad? It's a little too good. I think it was actually better to play both of these, but I, I was considering the life gain might be more relevant in a future turn if they are trying to storm us out. Bazinga. Uh, it's Bazorples. Bazorples. 
Oh boy. Six. Hmm. 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 Maybe they're just playing some weird control deck. Yeah, it's called Storm. Fucking goddammit. That's really annoying. You should attack. They never block in there. Right, but then they get to attack back, and the two damage we take is better than the two damage they take. Hmm. Especially if they're trying to tendrils us. Yep, here we go. I have a few storm components in my cube. I have high tide. I have heartbeat of spring. I don't have any storm cards, but I have ways you can make like a ton of mana with like palancron and frantic search and stuff, which is still a fun kind of combo archetype, but you don't have to sit here and wait for your opponent to masturbate while, you know, they may or may not have enough tendrils or have enough minds desire. Oh boy, baby jar. Boo. Pepper jar? Pepper jar. <laughs> oh, pepper jar. <laughs> Definitely said memory jar, but... No, nah, man, pepper jar. Pepper jar OP. I also wish we had um, an Eldrazi in our deck in case their their big game is to uh, brain freeze us. Brain freeze. Pukapow. Brain freeze, pukapow. Well, at least they have a good storm deck. So maybe it'll be over sooner. <laughs> maybe like it's so funny. Like that's the last experience you want when you're playing fucking cubes. Like maybe my maybe my miserable experience will be over faster. Yep. It seems fitting in a Christmas Christmas Eve stream that we get uh, two storm decks in our. The only people left playing are the trophy hunters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good gravy. It was not good gravy, though. Oh, hey, look. It's Palancron. Yay. Hooray. Hooray. I mean, it's not infinite. They only have three lands. No, but just more mana. What? <laughs> Jesus. Maybe my miserable experience will be over soon. Every woman I have slept with. Dear Jeez. God. <laughs> That's a quote for the ages. So they just attack, and then they... Post combat brain freeze us with the mana they wasted. Oh, sure. They lose us. How rude! This is all very weird, man. I guess they just didn't get there. So they have one card in hand, and they just get to kill their palancron. One, it's two, three, four. You actually pay here. I think they're dead. I guess we don't really need that. Yeah. Um, you gotta be kidding me your fucking last card is a fucking counter spell <sighs> this is incredible <laughs> oh boy yeah I still think they're gonna lose but nope <laughs> They're just going to play random value creatures and kill something. Uh, yep. I feel like Garrick and the Maelstrom Pulse would have been good there, but... One. If they don't have specifically a, like a one-mana counter spell, though, not playing Grooked in a Pulse is a really bad use of mana. Yeah, I agree. Like, like it's horrible. It's only good... If you know they have counter spells. Yeah, they have one card in hand. Like, I'm not going to play around a fucking counter spell, like, when I have a really good way to get ahead Sequence, on board. Yeah. Like. I mean, they have three power on board now, so. I mean, if we just pulse, they also still have miscalculation in hand. So it's like. Like, they're going to get us with it at some point, so it's not like... Boom. 
One, two, three, four, five. Put you. Put you. See, this is another situation where I'm like, I'm going to risk it. Because the upside is just significantly higher. I drew a counter spell at my two cards, you see. No, you didn't. No, I'm just going to get rid of this. Oh, mystical tutor in response. I'm going to get a time twister. Yog. Yep. Yeah. What are they even... I mean, we're restricted on mana, though. They have no rocks in the yard, right? Or no... Well, they also cube. have, like, no the ritual, storm cards. But... Wow, your I last card was that. fucking Cabal yeah. Ritual. Yeah. Sounds good. Your two draws were Cabal Ritual and Mystical Tutor. Okay. But, like, see, look, the storm count is up. They have no cards in hand, and there are no storm cards in the graveyard. So I literally don't understand when the storm counter comes up. I do not know what triggers it. You'll never know. I, I'm under that impression, yeah. Oh, they got Jar. That's good. I mean, what are the odds that their Storm card is in the last two? Oh, they have two Moxes. Cool. That's good. <laughs> two on-color Moxes, no less. Cool. <sighs> God. Why don't you just, just fucking build this deck on Magic Online and just play in the Solitaire Room? I don't know what the difference is. Delicious trophies. <laughs> it's so obnoxious, man. It's like, if we're a green deck, we just have no way to interact. There's literally nothing we can do. Except for hope they win. Well, maybe you should play more interactive spells. I mean, I literally tried. That's why I brought Maelstrom Pulse and Night of Autumn. But, you know. Yeah, single tower removal is not really good enough. It's not really good enough. Good enough. So, like, a lot of times they just hold all their rocks until they go off. <laughs> That sounds inappropriate, but you know what I mean? No, man. Just hold your rocks until you go off, Michael. I'm just going to hold my rocks until... We got fucking Dr. Bumblefeet over here. Bumblefeet? You mean Bumble Hands? Nah, I know what I said. You sure do. Well, for a deck with a bunch of one drops and a mox, this is not the best hand, but I'm sure they have. <laughs> oh god! Scrubland for we have a white card. What? And a black card. What are you saying right now? Just yeah. want to ask what the scrubland's for. You scrub. I mean, I just showed off Knight of Autumn and Maelstrom Pulse in the side well, when we were side. Might have not been here for that. They've literally been here since. Oh well, then they're weird. I don't know. Just ten minutes ago. Hmm. At least. Well, yeah, I think I would have played Knight of Autumn to kill Talisman, then Frey. You literally said you would have played Knight of Autumn. Strange world we live in. It's a wild time, man. Um, put on top. Pay to keep. Man, don't you just hate it when your opponent always has Exodia? You know? Well... My, my grandfather did give me those cards, so. Those are my grandpa's cards. They're not his cards. He gave them to you. You're not, like, borrowing your grandfather's no, Exodia, you're, Michael. You're trying to English me, but that's a quote from the show. I know. The quote is, but my grandpa gave me those cards. It's not, they're right. not his cards. Because that would assume you're giving them back to him so he can play in his tournaments. Whatever, nerd. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see how you're going to be. Michael, show me that smile again. Exodia's not even good. You're not even good. Wow, Crip 
uptick command in your three color deck. It's a good thing they draw. Them. They, it's a good thing they drew their mocks so they can cast their cryptic command. Oh yeah, give me that thing, so I can lose immediately. I'll go get my my big creature. Oh no, he killed me! Dang it! <laughs> what are you saying right now? Saying him giving us is literally. A joke. <laughs> you like jokes, Mikey? You have to give it away, though. Who cares? You just win. Nissa who shake at the treetop. <laughs> oh, and they just let that happen? Yeah, because what do they care? We're never going to have enough pressure. <laughs> it's very strange. We don't have hooves, so we can't just randomly kill them. Maybe you can't. If we had Hoof, we might be able to win this match. <laughs> oh, Yugi boy. Look, look what we got here. <laughs> <laughs> That's our fucking hit, dude. Did we get one right? Yeah. Oh, Rip. yeah, boy, you get one. Okay, but they're not. Damn it! I hate, I hate all, accidentally adjusting. Um, actually, Shinala, that quote was before they got to the island where they fought Pegasus. Okay, Pegasus. So, are you talking about? You no wait, you're right because he stole his soul through the VHS tape. You talking about? I forgot Rock about Lee? That. No, you're right. You guys, Rockley? You guys know Rockley? Yeah, Rockley's a he's a banger. <laughs> the most wholesome dude on that show. Oh, guys, look, it's happening. Oh, wow. You got it. Now I don't have double You mean red. bushy brows? Yeah. I have two cards. Thank you! I have one card. Oh, they're just going to tendrils us? Do it. <laughs> yeah, End you... it. Oh, no. Okay, Thank you're you. just going to search for the tendrils? Sounds good. Thank you! Cool. If I had enough Thank mana to crack you. this, I literally would be at one. So if we used the wall of roots instead of. Thank you. Actually, that wouldn't have worked, right? Because we had to use exact mana. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this would have been one instead. Thank you. Cool. Fun deck. <laughs> Brett, man. Oh my god, dude. Thank you. What are you even doing up right now? It's like. Thank you. Two thirty in Florida. I appreciate you, buddy. Merry Christmas, my dude. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash Frank LaPore. Have a great holiday. And uh, hopefully you won't be facing against storm decks where people get to just jerk off and hope it lands in your eye. Thank and you. Then, uh, if, if, they, if it does, they win. And if it it's doesn't, real graphic. maybe you can win. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.